depending on you to do your own warm up now. Five, maybe 10 minutes of vigorous movement using your arms and your legs to really get that blood pumping and warm that muscle fiber. We want that muscle tissue warm to protect us uh, from injury and uh, also to actually produce more effective muscle contraction during the workout. So don't forget the warm up. You guys ready? I'm ready. Wait, no, where's Eric? Here, what? Well, here he is. Here we are. Right. Where were you? Oh, I just Wait. went around the block, but I didn't think I was going to make it. Went around the block. Yeah, oh, I just jogged a little oh, bit. Oh, briskly. Of course. Okay. Well, yeah, last okay. half sure was. That counts, walking, jogging, stepping. All right, now we're gonna start with the big muscles first. We hit the quadriceps, and remember in weight training, failing is winning. Here you go. Hold on to your step, your chair, your bench, and extend the legs. We go for 10 reps, and we count. Up, up, and down. Renee is the countess today. And, and these she, are tough. I'm not sure. And she will not that. miss one single rep on these quads, I can How tell you. Fast. <laughs> now, when I say that halfway losing is winning, failing is winning in weight training, I mean that getting to muscular failure somewhere between 7 and 16 repetitions is effective weight training. Last We're generally going to do Whoa. 10 reps. Ugh. Woo! Okay, now stay here and do this if you have high blood pressure. But if your head and your tummy are agreeable to going upside down, try this. Lift one leg and extend the other. We go up, up, down, down. Now don't lock your knee right there, don't lock it. So you come to extension, but don't lock. Because as you build tension in the muscle, that's how you build the strength. And when you lock your limb, you release the tension. And so it's not as effective. Also, if you speed through the contraction, if you go fast as opposed to slow, you reduce the tension. Tension is reduced as speed I of the contraction is, is increased. Whoa. Oh, last one, switch. Other leg, up and up. Now. This is a concentric contraction. This is eccentric. The muscle shortens, the muscle lengthens. Shorten and lengthen. And we do them both slowly so that we get full benefit of both kinds of contractions. Lots of people will take benefit of the concentric and they just kind of drop down on the eccentric. And the eccentric is really beneficial in oh. building Last muscle one. mass. There we go. Ooh. That was it? That was it. Oh, <laughs> <you're sorry. laughs> well, you had to one eager We won. We won. Okay. Now let's stretch those quadriceps. If you can use the floor as a brace against your toe. And then pelvic tilt. Look here. Here's where the action happens. You need to really use those. And here's where the stretch happens on those quads. You know what? Yes. yes. <laughs> it is well deserved. So we worked those quads, at least for my body, that was maximal. I, I really couldn't have done one or two more. Now remember, if you can lift a weight more than 16 consecutive repetitions, it's too light for the kind of real effectiveness we want to get here. On the other hand, if you cannot lift it, pelvic tilt, real hard, if you cannot lift it seven repetitions, it's way too heavy. You gotta be able to get at least to seven. And you know what we do? Uh, we start out heavy. You know, sometimes you're, you're ready to go to the next weight, but there's not an increment small enough. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna do hamstrings. So if you, if, you know, if, if the next weight is 15 pounds and you have a, a 10 pound dumbbell and a 15, use the 15 at the beginning of the set while you're still fresh. Hamstrings. So train heavy at first 
and then lower the weight if you need to to complete the set or for the second set. Hamstrings, you do the front, you do the back. We did the quads, we're doing hams. Bend your weight bearing leg just a little. Pelvic tilt, that's so important. All right, and we go. Up one, down one. Up two, down two. We hold that pelvic tilt so that we protect that low back. That's what's so important. This sway in the back, you don't want it. Okay, somebody tell me where we are. Seven. Oh dear, I was praying <laughs> it was one more. I live for one more. <laughs> and here it comes. Oh good. One Last one. Up and down. Now, our legs are so heavy that we have to very carefully move them to the other side. You don't want to go clomping around with any speed. Okay, pelvic tilt on. It's ready. Yep. And lift. Up, up, and down. That's it. Now, keep that working thigh as vertical as, vertical as that weight-bearing thigh. So if you look down there and see that knee jutting out, pull your leg back a little bit, and if you fail, stop. What we don't want to see happen is to compromise your posture or your technique. Three more. And it's really of no use to work through pain or work through the burn, as they call it. Last one. And switch again. Because when you get the burn, you're not getting uh, effective contraction. So better to just stop a minute, rest, and catch up with those other two later. We lift up and up and down. And you know, Cheryl, I always find my breathing is really, really important as I do this. Well, you know, I don't so much on these, but I certainly do know what you mean. I, it helps you just not to hold your breath. Yeah, don't yeah. hold your breath. Don't close the glottis in your throat and valsalva or grunt. I'll tell you, Eric, when it when it really becomes hard for me is when we do shoulder presses <laughs> and really uh, hard biceps. Then I have to concentrate on my breathing. Renee? Last one. Oh, there thank it goodness. Is. Um, the, the rule of thumb is just breathe normally. And when the going really gets tough, you have to concentrate. Then you should exhale on the exertion and lift up and up. Right now, I have to really concentrate on the pelvic tilt because that leg is getting pretty near failure. Well, I may be able to actually upgrade in a week or two. I think this muscle is getting stronger. Really? Yeah. Congratulations. Surprising. How many left? Four more. My goodness. <laughs> failure is winning. <laughs> You're allowed, remember. I know. Challenge yourself. Moving right Thank on up from the hamstrings to the glutes. Get down here on all threes to protect your low back and lift. Up, up, down, down. There you go. The reason why we don't want you to grunt uh, or hold your breath is because it just shoots that blood pressure right up there. I want to try and keep you a steady state when it comes to blood pressure. And listen, women, the truth of the matter is, we're not going to bulk up like Arnold. Boy, particularly especially not, not here. Charlene and I. <laughs> it, it, it turns out that initially men and women gain the same I think amount this is of last strength. One. Okay, switch those legs. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> up and up. And rep number two. And up. Men and women gain the, uh, the same amount of strength. And uh, initially, and then men gain more mass or hypertrophy because of their male hormone testosterone. But you know, when, when they do studies where men and women train at the same um, relative resistance coming up, in other words, at the same percentage of Done. difficulty, switch legs and ready. Lift. One is up and she's down. 
second rep. So when, when men and women train at the same percentage of their maximum potential, they gain the same amount of muscle relative to their body composition before they started weight training. And that's why men can always get bigger muscles because they have more to start with. I mean, second day after birth, Eric had a whole lot more muscle than I did. Last there was one. No competition. Switch, Switch legs. legs. So, women are not going to get real big. And remember, if you need a little kick in the pants to get out of bed and do your weight training, the more muscle mass you have, the more calories you burn. Calories get burned up as and used as fuel in muscle cells. Oh, golly, golly. Two more. It always seems like the last leg is the hardest. Last one. Yes. And up. And Ooh. down. Oh, come yes. sit down over here. <laughs> now, I'm not sure where you are on your weights, but we got to download. And remember, we're, because we're doing abduction next and those muscles just can't take that kind of weight, you're going to learn pretty quickly how much weight you need to challenge those muscles. Just get rid of one leg, pelvic tilt, always pelvic tilt, and the other leg lifts up, up, down, and down. Here's one. And you see, we're up on the step so that that leg can go down just a little bit below horizontal. That's called negative work, a greater range of motion. So if you can get up on the coffee table or the piano bench, if you haven't got a step, that will let you do just a little greater range of motion. We want the biggest bang for our buck that we can get in the time. Last one. Oh, good. And down. Okay, you're loaded, so be careful in the way you flip over and walk around. Ready, lift. Up and up and down and down. Now, these muscles on the outside of your thigh that do abduction are generally less strong relative to the muscles in your inner thigh, the adductors. So these muscles really do bear some strengthening. They need this. And alas, let me just assure you, in case you thought you would delve in fantasy, that <laughs> lifting these legs won't make the fat go away Last one. where you get tired. You mean one more? No, no, that's it. it. Oh, good. <laughs> Flip over. To make the fat go away, you gotta do total body muscle work and lift. Up and up, because the muscles throughout your body are getting stronger and bigger and becoming good fat burners. And then if you eat a low-fat diet and do regular aerobic activity to boot, that's how you get rid of the fat, wherever you store it. And a lot of where you store it is genetically determined. If you don't like that, Right, Renee. <laughs> Blame your parents. Blame the geneticists. This is it. All done, finished. Other no, side. Other no. side. So, Renee, is there anything we can do about our genetic disposition? <laughs> oh, sure. Ready, lift. You'd be a rich lady if you knew mm -hmm. how to change that, wouldn't you? Two. And up. Is it getting hard? Yes, this last leg. Oh, True. It's now really let it tough. go as far down to the floor as you can manage. Rule of thumb, hurt is harm when it's in a joint. If your muscle gets tired, that's one thing. But if your joints hurt, you need to figure out a substitute or see Two more. Uh, your physio or a doctor and say, look, what's wrong with this joint? Last because we one. don't want to be causing Ooh. any damage to some, some uh, joint that is not biomechanically correct on you. You know those hamstrings we worked so hard? We're gonna take a minute and stretch them. But look, you've still got weights on, so you must hold those legs. You must be ever, ever so gentle here and hold it so that they don't come too close to your face 
and overstretch those hamstring muscles. Uh, I can actually feel mine right there. It pops out. <laughs> you mean yeah. you have a muscle? <laughs> my, my hamstring. <laughs> but I also felt Eric's once, and his goes, woo! <laughs> Oh, they're crying right now. Are they? Bless yeah. your heart. His hamstrings are tight. Okay, other side. Now be gentle here. Anytime you use heavy weights, you want to be extra careful and extra zealous about practicing good posture and good technique. Okay. And we'll just quickly stretch also those glutes and those muscles that abducted, lifted our leg away from the center line. So sit up here, and you're just gonna basically cradle one leg at a time. But as you do that, and careful not to hunch over, sit up as straight as you can. As you do that, pull it across the center line. In other words, it's not this, but rather this. Can you feel it down here? <laughs> I am tight. Is that yes, Char? <laughs> I'm grunting. <laughs> well, it's all right now. Just don't grunt when we're, when we're working. Okay? Let her go. Try the other side. So up she comes. Not here. Pull it on over. And I know it'd be a lot easier if you were sitting up against something back there, wouldn't it? Okay. Yes. Inside thigh. These guys, if you'll come down on the floor, and if you have a step, I'll show you how to use it as a, as a lover here. <laughs> Just put your leg up there and caress it. You can certainly do this without a step. You can just, you can get rid of this leg right back here. But if you have a step to lean over on, it just makes it easier. Ready, lift, up and up and down and down. Here's two, up. Now, these muscles are actually quite strong relative to, relative to their opposing muscle group. And we don't, we, we actually don't want to get them a heck of a lot stronger. What we want to do is get them a heck of a lot more flexible. They tend to be real tight muscles. So we're just doing, on these muscles only, one set of ten. And here's our last one. Ten. And done. Flip it around. Here you go. Hug. And ready. Lift. Up and up and down and down. Two. Up. Down. Down. Three. Up. Down. Down. Now, if you're on a hard surface, you may well want to throw something underneath your hip bone, um, towel, uh, scarf, just a little piece of rug, something that will make it a little softer against the hard surface. Last Throwing. one. Last one. And down. And done. Now, we need an incline bench to work our abdominal muscles, so if you own the step, build it with a two-block differential front to back so you get a slant to get gravity to work against. If you don't own the step, get out your ironing board. See what I've done to Renee? I braced the wide end of the ironing board against the wall so it's stable, and then we just found a, a box to put the narrow end against, and we're all ready to go. So get those heavy ankle weights up there, and we lift. Up and up and down and down. Two and up. Now, remember these are the lower fibers of your belly so that you're not working your glutes. You're not squeezing your cheeks, for heaven's sakes. You're trying to really hard contract your lower belly. Four more and up. close and move over so that your feet are hanging off something. 
even off the couch, off the piano bench. And now we're going to work those shins, the muscles that, if they are strong, will protect you from shin splints so you can go right on doing your aerobic training. Are you ready? So lift and up, two, down, two. So here's the hard part. That's what's making them stronger. It's concentric, eccentric. There's four. You're on the count, Renee? I sure am. All right. You know, in this weight training, we are actually um, building more muscle, and we are waking up some muscle fibers that have been asleep on the job, <laughs> that have been dormant. In a deconditioned muscle, only about 60% of the fibers are active. That's the last one. That was? That's it. Okay, we're all around. We're doing reverse. We'll leave those weights right where they are. But in a well-conditioned muscle, about 90% of the fibers are active. Okay, you got your legs up. Remember, the work is here, not here. Lift up and release. Two, contract, let it down. Three, contract, let it down. Does it quiver on you on the way down? Yes, it's quivering. And down. Seven, be sure not to hold your breath. Here's eight. Four down. Nine. Oh, well, I'm at failure. Nine, ten. <laughs> and down. All right, one more set of shins. So, these guys, if you keep them strong, you just won't get shin splints. Here's one and up. And here's two and up. So you can think of yourself as you weight train as recruiting more union workers. Getting them in there, getting them on the job, and getting the best bang for your buck. Halfway up, halfway through, four more, and down. Three, and down, two, Extra and percent. It's always harder, isn't it? I know. And down. Okay. Now, we can take those right off, and we're going to do abdominals. And, and so we're just going to lie down so that gravity will be against us. And we've got a couple of extra blocks here to put our legs on so that we don't uh, go slipping down. Now, if you're using an ironing board like Renee, it's even easier. It really is easier because you can bring your legs up with your knees in, in a, a lot of flexion, and that will keep you from slipping down. Now, if you want to make this real effective, you add weight, preferably behind your head, if you don't like it there, on your chest. And now we count. 10 and down and nine and down. Whoa. You're only gonna raise about 30 degrees off the floor there, but it's, it's full range of motion because if you sit right up, the last 70 degrees, is not your abs working. Last one. But rather your hip flexors. Woo. Okay, now we're gonna go internal, external obliques, the muscles on the side of your trunk. And we lift and twist over and back, and over and back, over, and lift and twist simultaneously. And here's four, and five, and counting down now. Here's four. Now remember, you can always drop some weight. You start out heavy, and if you fail, drop some weight. And if you still fail, just stop. Last one. And done. Did I do one for good measure? Whoa. Oh. So take your breath away. Oh. Now, when you do this, 
you should also do this. So that's what we're going to do. Now, if you can find a level surface, we're going to do some back extensions, which will work the little muscles in your lower back to make them stronger. But more important, it, it reverses the intervertebral pressure. The, the, oh, that must have been hard the, to say. And the intravertebral pressure. The, the pressure in the little discs in between each vertebra of your spine. So you want to haul yourself off so that your belly button is just off your bench, your, your piano bench, your table, or whatever. And you come down low and just come up just slightly above neutral. So here we go. Lift up and up and down and down. How are we staying on this? <laughs> We're curling our toes. We're curling our toes so hard. <laughs> up and up. And down and down. You counting? Up. Five. Up. Now, up, up, and down. Up, up, and down. Up, up, and down. 18 and <laughs> down. No, no. And up, and down. Put your hand down and talk. Rest a minute. Let me show you what Whew. to do. If you have nothing except a kitchen table, if Char will go over and sit on Renee's legs. I look forward to that. And <laughs> to, listen, to. then you can do this off the edge of anything as long as you have somebody sitting on your calves. Okay, ready. Here we go again. Second set. And down. Count one. Up. So much and down. Here's two. I think yeah. I could do a few more sets if I did it oh. this way. <laughs> now, believe me, if you like you've never way. done these before, those little back muscles may not be strong enough to even do 10. Sure, so, are getting tired. you do what you can. Well, as always, you just do what you can and rest when you need to. Hope that you can get to seven, but if Two you can't, more. you can't, but you eventually will. Remember one. the principle. Ooh, overload and adaptation. Okay, back extensions done. Right there. Let's do some stretching. Remember, I told you these inside thigh muscles were just generally too tight. Well, now uh. let's just stretch them and put your arms down right there on those muscles and just press open gently. Now, at the same time, point your toes, and we'll just stretch those shins that we worked so hard. Yes. Now, we need still to work the big calf muscles in your lower leg, the gastrocnemius and the soleus. You bring those together and come up. And to do that, you need some real overload. So I'm going to ask you to lift whatever you can, lift your maximum amount of weight, and put one leg on the floor and one leg up on something, and do just tippy toe. Up, up, down, down. Here's one, up, and down. Two is up, and down. See what's happening? We're just overloading that muscle real slow. Good control, you're not leaning forward, you're just standing right up straight. And you could do this to the cows come home without <laughs> any extra weight in your hands. But we want maximum effectiveness, that's why we've lifted so much. How many? Last one, here Good. we go. And switch legs. Easy does it, you got a lot of weight in your hands. And up, up, and down. Up and up. Now, these muscles, unfortunately, don't have a great deal of potential for growth. That's why you've seen um, bodybuilders who really achieved great muscle mass in the upper body, and they got these little spindly legs. They do look funny, It's don't not they? for lack of effort. Those muscles are, just don't have much potential. If they're big when you're born, they're big. If they ain't, they're not. And up. Up, we do have potential in I them for strength. I think this is the last one, though. And done, yeah. done. Okay, now, upper body. 
So now we made a deal with you. If you need to go away right now, if you only have a half an hour, go, go, and come back and run the rest of this tape to do your upper body tomorrow. Because in weight training, you need 48 hours between sessions. So you could do legs one day, and then the next day, when you really should be giving your legs a rest, you could do your upper body and alternate those. So pecs, the muscles that underlie your breast. So get your legs up on the piano bench there, and pelvic tilt, really hard pelvic tilt. Start up, and then let them come out as a butterfly. Here we go. Out, two, up, two, two, and up, three, and up. Now, is this gonna make your breasts bigger? <laughs> not a chance. Higher? No way. Firmer? Not likely. Well, let's I start wanted to in. make a comment there. <laughs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> Somebody count? Yes, two more. <laughs> I'll tell you why we're doing this. Because, last, last one. one, hold it right there, put it down on your belly, and slide it along your thighs as you sit up. Oops. We are doing this, you turkeys, because the pecs have a lot of potential for strength and they can help us burn off calories. Now shoulder presses to work the trapezius muscles up here. And I use slightly heavier ones here. I will probably not talk at all. This is so hard for me. Ready, go. One, up, and down. Okay, Charlene, Two, what weight are you using up, there? and down. Well, I reckon it's about 17. The problem is, you see, every time you grab a different dumbbell, the bars weigh a little different. Some bars weigh one pound, some bars weigh three pounds, and I think these are the threes. Make sure you're not arching your back. Is somebody counting? I'm counting, we've got one more. <laughs> up, ooh, we can up, do it. and down, whoa. Okay, back to pecs. Here we go. Come on down. Pelvic tilt. Get those weights up. Ready, go. Out and out, up and up. So you'll find that because you cannot special order a weight at 15 and 3 quarters pounds or 10 and a half pounds, that you'll probably end up graduating by five pound increments in the upper body just because of the nature of, actually they do have two and a half pound plates. And the smaller the increments, Last the better one. off you are. Hold it right here, put it down on your belly. Now sit up as you slide that along. But I'll tell you, I have just graduated to this new weight. And it's really hard for me. I can just do it. You don't have to do all ten. That's thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ready, lift. Up, up, and two, three, and four, and five. I gotta change. Seven. That's what I mean about starting with the heavier weight. And then if you have to stop and download, no problem. One more. That's it. Oh, and that was my failure point. I could not have done one more. I'll tell you, if weight training reduces that intramuscular marbling, I am going to be one lean, mean dancing machine. You are already. Here you go. We're going to stretch these trapezius muscles. You're going to grab one hand back here. Pull it, pull it with your free hand. But now watch what happens with the neck. I'm pulling it that way, but I'm tucking in my neck and turning it away from the stretching 
trapezius. Can you not feel that? Mm-hmm. Now kind of play around with it. Just bury your little chin right in your shoulder there. Whew. So that's, that is my biggest challenge. Because <laughs> rather than I, the six to 17 pounds that these are, what I really need is, you know, 15 and three quarter pounds. That means we're home free? That means I am. <laughs> but I, okay, and now the other side. So you put a little pressure here. You do a little gentle pulling with your free hand and then just snuggle that neck right down in there. Oh, yes? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, let's just stretch your pecs right there too. If you can just clasp your hands behind and raise them up a little. Yes, yes. Hard stuff done. Now the delts have great potential for growth. These big muscles at the top of your shoulders. Wow, did you know that in weight training there are microscopic tears in those muscles? Yeah. As we want. That's I want to repair those tears. In the repair, that's where the benefits are. Oh, I suppose. I guess my trapezius muscle is going to be repairing and <laughs> resting like crazy. A security blanket, that is. <laughs> okay. You can sit or stand. I think your, your posture will be better if you sit. And we lift. Front, up, and down. Two, and up. See, it almost helps if you put a tiny little wink of a pause right in the top of the range of motion so that you are not tempted to use any momentum. When you mo use momentum, the momentum does the work. And remember what we said, as the speed of the contraction increases, the um, Last strength one. and tension, the strength that is developed from that tension, decreases. I heard that. I just want to show you. Perfect. Just showing off. Okay. Excellent. Now we're going to do the back. And if you'll just come lean forward over your knee and take your arms backwards, we got one up and down. Two up and easier or harder? Easy. Easier. Isn't it the truth? Four up and down. Five up and here's six. Yes. So listen, sometimes you weight train at home and then go on vacation and use somebody else's dumbbells or you use the dumbbells in the hotel and you pick up what you think is the same poundage. I, I was done. <laughs> <laughs> you're allowed to be done you when you're done. And you know what, you say to myself, my gosh, I can't even lift this. You're or not crazy. crazy. You pick it up and think, oh, oh how ooh, light this ooh. is. You're not crazy. It's these bars. They vary considerably. To the side, ready, lift. Up and up and down. Oh, yes. The second set of these will be a challenge for me. Three and. So gals, here is a place we can really make tracks. Upper body. We don't uh, have a great heritage for training our upper body. And by so doing, we can really increase our wow. muscular strength. Oh, God, if you fail, Renee, you win. Last you won. Won. I think Did I just won. To failure. <laughs> God, Eric, congratulations, wow. my man. Now, right there, just flip over and let's do triceps. Little because heavier, right? it'll give all these deltoids a rest. Triceps are here in the back of your arm, and it's just an extension of your elbow. Ready? And we extend. Out and out, and in and in. Here's two, and out, and. Here's three, and out, and. Here's four, and out, and. Halfway, and out. Slow is so hard. Counting down. And four, I'm and. I'm sure this is slower than we normally do them, Charlene. And two, squeeze. All fibers on deck. All fibers at work. And switch. Other Ooh. side. Now, 
Ready? Big breath. And lift out. And back. Two. And back. Three. And remember, you don't have to lock that joint. And halfway. And counting down. Whoa, do I feel those triceps. Four more. And careful that you keep your posture, that you keep your alignment, because you can always stop. Yes. And yes. we're done. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Thank goodness. Oh. So this is what failure feels like, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this is good weight training. This is when you're getting your money's worth for your time. Okay, now we have to do all that again. Deltoids to the front. We lift up and up and down. Two, up and. So all those little nerve pathways to the muscles, all those little fibers are being improved. We're actually increasing the little myofibrils, these little bits that make up the fibers. So all of that is happening, whether you're good or bad. If you just hang in there, you just go to class. Last one. You get the effort. Oh, done. Posterior. Now, if you don't like kneeling over, you could get on a piano bench. Ready, lift, up and up. In other words, you could lie prone and lift these, but it, it, yeah, I've never felt that it feels good. Uh, and then you are left with the problem with what to do with your head. <laughs> and I generally hang it off the end of the piano bench. How many? This is number eight. Good. <laughs> Two. Last one. Up and up and down and down. Now, Eric, is this where you failed last time? Yes, it was. So, what, what rep was it in? I think it was about eight. Okay, I bet you she comes down to six. No, he switched weights. Oh, did you switch Don't weight? tell her my secret <laughs> weapon. No, no, that's all right. I was going to ask you what you want to bet. It's all out. It's a lift. Quit apologizing. Ready? Lift. Up and up. I'm not sure I'll get to ten. She's two. Great technique, Eric. She's three. Now try not ever to uh, lean your trunk forward or backward. You really want your trunk to stay vertical. And a lot of times, if you go to a public weight room, you see all this kind of stuff, don't copy it. Renee. One more for you guys. <laughs> 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 All right, it's allowed, it's allowed. Okay, here we go. Thanks, Renee. <laughs> Triceps. Okay, yeah, I don't look forward to these. <laughs> Why, sure. Well, the last, the first Ready, set was tough. And out, and out, and in, and in. Two, and, whoa. She's three, and out. She's four. And five. Now, I've just got to be quiet and concentrate here. Six. And seven. Whoa. And eight. And nine. Oh, I don't want one more. I don't want it. Oh, but I just. Yes. <laughs> oh, that was tough. Okay, other side. So Are you fun. ready? Then extend. have slowed this music <laughs> down. I oh. don't touch the music. Oh. Listen, just think about all that little protein synthesis going on in all those that fast twitch fibers. Protein. Building, oh. building more muscle fiber. Does that not give you heart, Renee? Actually, it does. <laughs> Alas, eating a high protein diet will not get you more muscle mass. For that, you have to work. Pumping iron. Oh, who wants a high protein diet anyway? And it's we're true. done. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we're done. We won. Oh, good. Oh, we won. <sighs> that was failure. Okay, those triceps deserve a stretch. 
So you bring one hand up here and flex the elbow all the way, and then with the free hand, put some pressure against it, press it backwards, gentle, but firm. Can you feel that stretch right along there? Uh-huh. Ooh, yes. That's a nice So failure stretch. is quite easy to recognize, isn't it? <laughs> sure Either is. You simply cannot do another single one, or you start to feel that burning sensation from the buildup of that waste product, lactic acid. Okay, try the other side. You know, we're also increasing that blood flow to muscle tissue, getting more fuel down there. And what is really important to me because of my genetic background is increasing bone density. By muscle tugging on bone, you encourage the deposition of calcium into those bones to make them strong and prevent osteoporosis, which is in my uh, familial background. The, the women in my background suffer from that. Okay, guess what's next? Big guys, biceps. Oh, I'm gonna go get my, my worst big thing. This oh, one. he's bringing on a big gun. Well, this is my biggest weight too. Right here now. You need to plant yourself with a nice broad base here, and really watch your technique. That you do this work with your muscle group, the bicep, not with your trunk. Okay, ready? Curl. Up and up and down and down. This is another group where Eric and I start out heavy, and I, for one, will download likely in the next set. Okay, I need a count. Halfway there. <laughs> Definition comes when you do enough weight. You hoist enough weight that you build up the muscle mass. Last one. Oh, I there. I couldn't get the last one in. That's all right. Sorry. Right. Oh. And you got that muscle mass built up, and then you reduce the fat between the muscle and the skin. Ready? Go. Up and up. So you can see all that beautiful muscle mass. No good having to run there if you can't see it, I reckon. Now. Char has braced her elbow against her thigh. That's one position that's just fine. And I like to keep my elbow free, not braced against my thigh, but rather um, against my chest wall. And I'm on my bad arm. Anybody else find that <laughs> one side is... <laughs> no, mine are equally bad. <laughs> Anybody oh, count? There we go. Done. That was the last oh, that one. Was it. Okay, switch off. Now I'm gearing down. I'm going down five pounds. Well, I'm ready. Gonna stay. Lift. So yeah. I may not make it all the way. Well, you know, Renee, you are the cheapest date I can find. <laughs> she true, she eh? does this entire workout with two sets of weights. Now don't make fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. I'm not making fun at all. Two sets of weights and I've increased. <laughs> That's right. She, but, she, but look at the muscle mass I started with. And the strength when we first started weight training. It's all I could do to get her into the dumbbell. That's right. And I only do it if you there. I really come a long way. Okay, now the last, this is the last arm. All right, lift. Up and up and down and down. But there's no question, the stronger you get, the more money you got to spend on <laughs> weights. Because there's Different some problem. muscle groups that are so small, they're just not going to tolerate a big weight. And yet you'll need to go on and add the big weights for your great big muscle groups like your biceps and your trapezius muscles. Look in the wand ads. Look in the classified. There's a lot of dumbbells sitting at home in people's basements. Oh. I'm not sure if I can count these last two. Yeah, got me. Last, <laughs> yes, the very last That's one. That's it. That's oh, it. Good. Oh. oh, that was perfect. Oh. I just, I failed just, just <laughs> right. Yeah, one more. Okay, wrist extensors. You want to play a little tennis handball? These guys hold a fairly light weight. I think we're looking at about five, six pounds here. Brace that forearm on your thigh and bring it up, slow, down, slow. Always using your fullest range of motion. 
You know, sometimes in, in gyms, you see people get right to the top of the range of motion, say like in abdominal exercises, and just work there over and over and over and over. That is not nearly as effective as going through the full range of motion. We want to maximize benefits. Charles, is this going to help my squash game? It is. And if we could just get you a new prescription for your contacts. <laughs> If I, just start playing, if I could find some players that I could yeah. beat, it'd be perfect. Oh, you could beat me. <laughs> you want an ego trip? Play me. <laughs> Lift up and up and down and down. Unfortunately, you really lose this muscle strength quickly if you lay off, don't you? Use it or lose it. Just a few days and I De notice the difference. Deconditioning occurs, sadly, at a third the rate the strength is gained. Yeah, so when you're That's away so for a week unfair. on a trip, <laughs> That's right. surely we're done here. No, no. <laughs> Char would know. <laughs> and last one, and switch those arms back again. Ready, lift. This time it's gonna be much harder. Now, you know, sometimes people say, um, you know, I must be doing something wrong with my belly exercises because my belly is still sticking out, or my belly is sticking out more. Not a chance, but I've heard that. <laughs> That's Too much muscle fat. in my belly there. <laughs> no, <laughs> belly muscle doesn't stick out. Your big muscles, like your uh, quadriceps and your biceps, might grow enough to Last show time. a little shape. Ooh, good. Last arm, ready, lift. Up and up. But look, when you strengthen your belly, it just gets firm. Now, sometimes men and sometimes women can build uh, belly muscles so strong and have so little fat on the torso that you see this washboard effect. I had that once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 12 years oh, yeah. ago. <laughs> <laughs> mine, mine, I don't have enough muscle to give it the washboard effect. I just got That's a flat one. white. Did you ever see such a farmer's can as this? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're into the sunscreen. We're into the eight. sunscreen sure heavy. Are. Okay, those guys are done. Now, we're going to work these guys. The rhomboids promote good posture. And here's what you don't do. You don't just... Lift your arms. This one's hard up here. It's hard to isolate this. What you want to happen is to draw your shoulder blades to the center line. So we'll do a couple to practice. So you draw your shoulder blades. Now just drop your head down and let them go. In fact, you can almost round your back so you get a sense. Try it once more for practice. Draw your shoulder blades to your spine and let it go. Okay, now sets of 10. Up and up and down and down. Try and think about keeping the angle in your elbow constant and that will help you uh, avoid just working your arms. It's your back here that I want to work. Up, hold, and release. Good, good. Now, it may quiver a little as you come down in your eccentric phase. That's all right. It may quiver a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Who's counting? Ten. This is it. Rest. Okay. Just hang on rest. here. <laughs> a sec. We'll just give it a little rotation. And I think a pat on the back always helps. Ready to go again? Here we go. Up and up and down and down. Two and up. Now you sure don't have to worry about muscle ever turning into fat. <laughs> it won't happen. Apples don't become oranges. You can build up your muscle mass and build up good strength. And should you have to quit training for some reason, uh, it will not turn into fat. The way you accumulate more fat is to last eat one. fattening yes, foods <laughs> and uh, do less activity. <laughs> Woo! Stretch those, stretch those right there. Just pull either here or here and sort of give yourself a cat stretch. Okay, rotator cuff. 
the mechanism in your shoulder girdle that prevents impingement injuries. You need to come lie down, pelvic tilt, snuggle your elbow right inside your hip, not on top, but right in there in that little hollow, and lift to vertical, up and up and down and down. And the little rotator cuff mechanism uh, is often way too weak relative to our other muscles. And so this is a good prevention for all kinds of sports. You know, tennis, racquetball, volleyball, all, uh, even throwing and catching. The little rotator cuff structure, if strong, will prevent a lot of injuries. And we're lifting two and a half Last pounds. Time. That was it? Yes. And I had to work up to two and a half pounds. Mm -hmm. I started with a half a pound of lead. Did you yes, really? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Hollow, put your elbow in your hip hollow. Ready, lift. Up and up and down and down. Physiotherapists tell us that often we neglect to train sufficiently the muscles in the back of our body, concentrating too much on the muscles in the front of our body. So this is an effort to get you evened out. Don't forget those guys in the back. They're, they're back there for good reason. And my goodness, you can build up some beautiful definition. Nice and one. Good, I felt like it. Flip over again. All right, ready, lift, up and up and down and down. And she's up. Can you begin to feel that? Second set does yeah, it. Yeah, second mm -hmm. set. This is getting to failure. And they tell me that even great, big, strong guys with hulking big muscles don't lift much on the rotator cuff exercise. Please tell me one more. <laughs> No, no one more. Two more. <laughs> After this, one more. Oh my goodness. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. That'd be winning, I reckon. Ready, lift. Up, up, down, down. Two and up and down. So, if you're watching your budget, you could use tomato ketchup in a bottle for this weighs just about the right amount to get started. But you'll quickly get tired of those um, pseudo weights and, and you'll start watching those want ads. Okay, that sound sounds about right. Last one, yes? Yes. Okay, let's stretch that and this is gonna feel so good. If you get down here on the floor and put your hand up on the sofa, your fingers are vertical and your thumb is shooting out on the horizontal, shooting out the opposite direction. Now, move your bum away. Ooh, is that nice? Can you feel it? Oh, yes. And you go just as far away as you need to to really put a stretch on there. Good, okay. Now just put that palm flat and put your other palm flat. Move your bum away. Can you feel it in your biceps? Yes, I yes. love this one. I love this one too. Mm. <laughs> I always just sink into this sucker. Okay, now let's do the other rotator cuff. The thumb is shooting out the back. Those hands are vertical. Scoot away. Got it? Yes? Talk to me. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We're enjoying yes. the stretch. <laughs> I think they've oh, truly reached the failure. This is mutiny in the troops. No, this is called Nirvana now. <laughs> oh, you worked hard. Lift heavy, lift safely, and get the maximum efficiency out of your workout. Hang in there. Dumbbells by Fitness Solutions of Calgary. Ankle weights by Flex Weights, exercise wear by Gilda Marks, steps by The Step, hair by Jerome, and makeup by John Cox of About Face.
The It Figures collection of hour-long videos includes Eat Less Fat, Not Less Food, a guide to low-fat food choices, and Charlene and the Bench Boys, an advanced step aerobics workout. Step Right Up is another advanced step workout, and one step further is an intermediate step workout. Serious Curves is an advanced weight training workout, and Muscle Building is intermediate level weight training. Rev Up is an advanced aerobics workout, and Rev Up the Sequel is a more intense advanced aerobic workout. Less Impact More Results is a high intensity, lower impact aerobics workout. Hang In There is intermediate aerobics, and No Jump is beginner aerobics. Home Stretch is an extensive program of developmental stretch. Moving to Lean is an advanced high-low aerobic workout, and Benchmark is a challenging advanced step workout. Our half-hour videos include Total Toning, the best of it figures, and Fat Fighter, the best of it figures. To order your VHS or beta copy, call 1-800-MORE-FIT.